Hello and welcome to Tech Shit. I'm your host Marcus and uh, today we're going to give you some shit for your tech, bitch. So in case you haven't noticed, Apple computers are very expensive. Partly because Apple are big into reaping profits. You gotta admit though, they do make good computers. So what people have been doing are taking legal copies of Mac OS X and hacking them to work on Windows PC. You can go two ways with this. One is to buy and build your own computer, which frankly is more fun but takes a bit of effort. Or two, buy a PC and hack that shit up. What we're going to do today is explain you the pros and cons of both of these scenarios. To start off, these roads are pretty easy, but there can be some problems. With our build, the only problem we've had was that the audio input doesn't seem to work. But this can be fixed by getting kecks or shit like that. But hold on, I'll explain everything in a moment. We'll start at the beginning. If you want to build a Hackintosh, then you're going to do, have to do some research. The easiest way to go is to search around and find out what hardware is compatible with a common flavour of Mac OS X. I'll explain the term in a second. A good forum to help you with this is insanelymac.com. For our build, we got an Intel DG35EC desktop motherboard, an Intel 266 processor, and a NVIDIA 8600 graphics card, including drivers, PSUs and other stuff. The total cost was around $500, but we wanted to make it pretty fast for editing and stuff. If you want to know how to build a computer, you're watching the wrong video. Do a Google slash YouTube search and you'll find a good tutorial, but I'll give you a hint. It's kind of like building Lego. You buy the parts and whichever part fits in the right hole, then you're good. On to the OS. After you've gone to these forums, you may have seen terms and or names like Calway, Kex or Chameleon. These are all to do with operating system or OS. Since everybody's hardware is different, there are a few flavour of Hackintosh OS uh, out there like Calway, iDenob or iAtcos, etc. One of these flavours should work with our hardware, but once again a few minor problems may occur which you will have to solve manually, but the Insanely Mac form is very helpful. To install it on your computer, you'll need to download the right one. What we did was download a few and after trial and error, we got it to work. We used Calway 10.5.2 on, on, for our setup. After you've got to that, then you need to burn that disk using a format which we can't remember. Once again, this is not really a tutorial, but more of an introduction to the Hackintosh world. If the disk works correctly, then you'll boot up uh, completely, and if you hear the opening theme song, then you're in success. From there on, it's just a matter of following the on-screen instructions. Now we're going to talk about the cons or problems. Like I said earlier, the audio input doesn't seem to work on ours. But a quick and lazy way to solve this is to go out and buy a sound card or audio interface with a Mac driver or install disk included. We haven't tried it, but it's guaranteed to work. Another problem is that it doesn't seem to have all the printer drives preloaded like on the other Macs. So you just have to put in the disk that came with your printer and manually install the driver. Occasionally it crashes, like most PCs, and it can get a bit frustrating, but it's only happened about once or twice. Software like Adobe After Effects doesn't really seem to work correctly on ours. It's the only problem that crashes occasionally, it's the only program that crashes occasionally as well, but we might not have installed it right. One of the main problems we've had, we haven't managed to figure out a way around, is updating with software update. We've never tried it, but most websites say you shouldn't, and since we haven't, we can't really help you on this. But Insanely Mac should be able to help you. So that's it, an introduction to the Hackintosh world. We might do another video in the future and actually showing you how to build one of these. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more then click subscribe. All comments and are welcome and just leave them below. You've just been tech shit, bitch. <laughs>